The Wyndham Championship is officially underway. Golfers teed off this morning in the first round. As you can imagine, there are a lot of volunteers on the course to make sure everything runs smoothly. Eric talked to a group that makes it a family affair. You know, it, it's so cool because these guys, they're four brothers, and they've been doing this since the early 80s. No lie, they have volunteered as scorekeepers, each of them with different golfers, golfers for 41 years. It's pretty amazing. Here's the story of the Maurer brothers. Imagine volunteering at the Wyndham for more than four decades. Yes, I won't say who's been doing it. Well, yes, I will. Let's talk to Eric. You've been doing this how long? This was, this was my 41st year. And how did this all start? It started with uh, they needed help because too many people made the cut one year, and my roommate, his sister was in charge of the walking scorekeepers, called us up. And we came down to help out and been doing it ever since. And you said you got the call at like 1.30 in 1:30 the morning? 1.30 in the morning, yeah. Oh. They, too many people made the cut. I said <laughs> she needed 15 more people to be scorekeepers, so we loaded up a car from Roanoke, Virginia, and came to Greensboro. <laughs> Paul, let's talk about, well, first of all, how long have you been doing this? This 34th year. All right. 34 for me. 35. 35. That's a long time. All right, Paul, so technology, we have a, we took a, a picture of what you guys use now. It's basically an iPhone, right? Right. Um, but back in the day, what was it like? Well, yeah. when we first started, it was uh, a bubble sheet where we had pencil and paper, and you filled in the bubbles, and you take the player's name, and you tore a strip of paper off and handed it to a volunteer on each green, and then he or she called it into to headquarters. Uh, Eric, you said they called in how? On a rotary yeah. phone. <laughs> <laughs> on a rotary phone. Um, so you guys use this, really, this is like a family get-together. I guess it's, it started that way as well, right? So what do you guys do when you get back together like this today? This is an opportunity for the four of us to get together and play some golf. We live in different areas. Carl lives outside of St. Louis. Dan and I live in Frankfurt, and Eric now lives in Knoxville. And so it gives us an opportunity to work in the morning. We take an early tea time, and then we go play at courses around Greensboro in the afternoon. So do you do that every day for the, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? We have the Mauer open on Sunday, so we got three <laughs> practice rounds before it actually counts. Surely there's some betting between brothers when you play golf. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, and real quick before we go, uh, Paul, let me tell you, golf ball collect, you know they give you the signed ball when you're a scorekeeper. Do they, you guys keep do. those for years and years? We, we have balls that are donated or given to us by each of the players and they autograph them. I have uh, four cases on my wall at home of about uh, 70 each, and Eric, I think, has more than that. How many do you have, Eric? I've got close to about 250. Goodness, that's great. You got. thank you for doing this. We love the Wyndham around here. We appreciate what you're doing. This is awesome stuff. So when I would walk around and I'd talk to some of the longtime volunteers or the organizers or the executive directors and all media uh, guys, they would all say the same thing. They, they hear names for these guys, everything from the marvelous Maurer brothers, the wonderful Maurer brothers. So they're legendary around here, and they've been here so long now, they pick the earliest tea times, as you heard, so they can get out by noon and do their own thing. Very cool. What an awesome story. I'm so yes. glad he was able to find them. That's so interesting. And, you know, for years and years, almost 40 years coming out there. And I love that they get together every year uh -huh. and they do this. And that is kind of like their family reunion. Yeah. And how funny that they spend the whole day on the golf course working, volunteering, and then they go and go to their own golf course afterward to play around. I was surprised to hear that part. I thought he was going to say, we volunteer in the morning and then we just socialize the rest of the day, you know, right. and check out the other things that are offered there. But I think that is just so, so. Oh, cool. And I had no idea that the scorekeepers got balls that were signed uh -huh. by the golfers. And that gentleman said he had 200 Close of them. Close to 200. Them. We both looked at each other like, wow. <laughs> Think about amazing. what those golf balls are worth. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he wants to just keep them. Absolutely. Though, but that's, that's, that's pretty neat. Good get, uh, Eric. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.